If you follow me on social media, you've probably heard me going on about this comet, Comet Neowise. This is the first picture I got of the comet. At first I thought it was a smudge on my screen, or some kind of reflection, but as I started to move my phone around, the spot moved with it, and I realized that I was getting pictures of the comet. This is the best picture I got that night. You can clearly see the head of the comet, which isn't that impressive and the tail, which is harder to see with light pollution. The following night I went out and wasn't able to get such good pictures. I stood in a different spot where there was more light pollution, but this continues to be the best picture I have ever gotten of Comet Neowise. So how did I get these pictures? Show you. I started out in the same spot that had the severe light pollution, because that's where I was able to get the best picture of Comet Neowise. I parked myself behind this SUV to block out some of the light from the building. Night Sight is an application that comes default on Google's Pixel 3, that keeps the camera shutter open for longer, allowing more light to get in. Kind of like a night vision filter. This is how I found Comet Neowise in the night sky about an hour and a half after sunset. I found the Big Dipper and looked down and to the right. It was very faint, and I couldn't even look right at it. It just looked like a fuzzy cloud. To get the picture, I aimed my camera, zoomed in, and pressed the shutter. That's it to the left. It's not a very good picture, but it's a good representation of what it looks like with the naked eye. So I re-aimed my camera and took another picture. This picture is about the same. It's not very good. You can see the comet, but not really the tail. This picture is better. You can see the tail, but not really the comet. It's getting fainter as it moves away from the sun. This one is about the same. You can kind of make out the tail, but you can't really see the comet. There is just too much light pollution in this spot. Next I went to a spot between two buildings, where there is a street lamp, but there's no other lights. This is where I was when I spotted the comet the first time. With less light pollution, I was able to get a picture of the comet and the tail. It's off to the right. So I changed the angle of my phone to try and center it. This is definitely the clearest picture I've gotten on this trip, and it's towards the top of my screen. I got this one centered a little bit better. Trying to take a picture of a faint object that you can't see through the camera lens requires a lot of patience, diligence, and trial and error. It's very boring and repetitive, and at times frustrating. But if you're patient, the end result is worth it. There. Now that's a good picture. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that little bell on the corner to get notifications. See you guys next time.